What is up YouTube? It is Jack Knife TV here and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to put ringtones on your iPhone. Any iPhone, it doesn't matter. Running any iOS, it does not matter. Okay, so what you're going to need is the latest version of iTunes and you're going to need a program called Tonbu. If you're familiar with it, it's pretty awesome. So first go to Google Chrome or whatever browser you're going on. Go on google.com and go to Tonbu. Just type in Tonbu. It's the first one that pops up. Click on it and it's the second tab. And then right there is where you download Tonbu. It's version 3 I guess iOS and Android so alright after you download that it shouldn't take too long then download the latest iTunes version if you don't already now after that you're gonna need either uTorrent Basically, uTorrent, which is, you can download torrents, and all you got to do is click Get Torrent right here, and it will start downloading automatically. Now, I don't use uTorrent. I use Tribler, or Tribler. I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Basically, I think it's a little bit faster, and you don't get caught at all with this. It's like always on privacy mode, and you can search right inside Tribbler for torrents and stuff like that. So I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. Um... So yeah, I would suggest getting this because every time I use uTorrent, my internet stops working and I have to confirm that I won't use uTorrent anymore and it comes up with this Time Warner cable bullshit. So I just use this. And the next step is to getting the torrent. So you're going to want to type in... Um, trying to get up the paste okay iTunes ring tones torrent alright so it brought it up anyways so this one right here where it says iPhone ring tones equals 600 plus BX download torrent the pirate bay TB TPB, that's what you click on. And then simply, you just say, get this torrent. And you launch the application, and it will bring it up in Tribler. And once it's fully done, and it's fully seated, um, you can right-click on it when it's fully done. Right-click on it when it says seating. And then you can go down and, and it will say explore files. And it will bring up like where the files are. Kind of like this. I already have, I have a different one downloaded. Because this was from like way back like a year ago. So it has, like it still has Still Dre on there. and It, it was an old torrent that is no longer up. But. The other one's 600, and it probably has all of these plus more. So that's a better deal, I guess. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open, after your torrent's done, you're going to want to open the file, and you want to minimize it. Now, this is where the tricky part, well, it's not tricky. It's just you got to open iTunes, and you do nothing in iTunes. You just minimize it 
after it's done doing what it's doing, you minimize it, and then you open Tombu. <clears throat> so basically, iTunes is allowing Tombu to... It's allowing you to put anything like music, movies, or ringtones on your iPhone without actually using iTunes. Uh, it's telling me I have to update. Well, I have to update this apparently, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, it is done downloading. At And at this point, what you're going to want to do is plug in your iPhone. And it should have some dots, and it should say loading, meaning it's trying to connect. And then it would bring you to this. It says Alan's iPhone, and it shows you the iPhone right over here and stuff like that. Now you can jailbreak, but that's a whole nother video. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to go to, damn, I think I, okay, you're going to go to music. Okay, and then it should say ringtones. It should hi have it highlighted under music. You just click on ringtones, and you import, and then... Wherever your files are, you look for them, and then you click the top one, and you go shift, down key. And then it's going to get all of them. Every ringtone. And then you just click open. Now at this point, don't do anything. Don't, um, don't. Auto shutdown already exists. All right. Don't do anything at this point. Don't unplug your device. Don't touch it. If you still see, um, if you still see where it says device, Alan's iPhone, whatever your iPhone, and it still has that syncing icon and it's still rotating, don't touch anything because that means it's working. It's getting all the ringtones on your iPhone. And at the bottom here it says import in, and it's importing all of them. So once this is done importing, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so it is now officially done importing. It didn't take too long. It maybe took maybe two minutes max, and now the sync icon has gone. So now you're good to go to X out of that and X out of iTunes. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on your iPhone, and you're going to want to go to Settings. You're going to want to go to Sounds, and then scroll down until you see Ringtone. And then if you scroll all the way up or down, it will have all the ringtones. And then now you can select your ringtone. And then you can do it for the text tone, the new voicemail, new mail. When you send your mail, a tweet, a Facebook post, calendar alerts, reminder alerts. And you can use all those ringtones for all those options I just gave you. And that's basically how you put ringtones on your iPhone. Totally 100% free and very easy. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subs subscribe if you want more of this kind of stuff. And um, if I can get 10 likes on this video, I'll be showing you, I can uh, do a video on how to get GTA 5 for your PC. Um, that's only if I can get 10 likes. So sub, share with everybody. And comment because I want to know what you think about this. So uh, I think that's about it, guys. Peace out, YouTube.